subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Installing OpenCV, CV2, in Jupyter Notebooks using PIP. Introduction OpenCV, or Open Source Computer Vision Library, is a powerful library for computer vision and image processing tasks. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of installing the OpenCV library, CV2, in a Jupyter Notebook using the PIP Package Manager. This will enable you to perform various computer vision tasks within the Jupyter environment. Prerequisites Step 1, Open your Jupyter Notebook Launch your Jupyter Notebook by opening a terminal, navigating to the desired directory, and running the command. This will open Jupyter in your default web browser. Step 2, Create a new Jupyter Notebook Create a new Jupyter Notebook by clicking on the New button and selecting Python 3 from the drop-down menu. Step 3, Install OpenCV using PIP In a Jupyter cell, you can use the symbol to execute command line commands directly within the notebook. To install OpenCV, run the following command in a cell. This command uses pip to install the open Python package, which includes the CV2 module. Step 4, verify the installation. After the installation is complete, you can verify that OpenCV is installed correctly by importing the CV2 module and checking its version. Executing the cell should print the installed version of OpenCV. Step 5, test OpenCV with an image. To ensure that OpenCV is working as expected, let's load and display an image using the CV2.imRed and CV2.imShow functions. Make sure you have an image file in the same directory as your Jupyter Notebook. Replace your underscore image.jpg with the actual file name of the image you want to use. This code will display the image using OpenCV functions. Conclusion Congratulations! You have successfully installed OpenCV, CV2, in your Jupyter Notebook using PIP. Now you can explore and implement various computer vision tasks directly within the Jupyter environment. ChatGPT